There is a number of goods and services that gets transported through the city, uh, and mainly on the M1, the M2, and the other national freeways like N1 and N3 and N12, which traverses the city of Johannesburg. So in particular, the M1, on a daily basis, there's about 80,000 cars, including trucks, that goes through the M1 uh, section of the freeway system. Yo, and, that's uh, a lot. And, uh, and, and how, much, how many people and how much traffic? This is, or how much freight rather? Yo. This is more than 250,000 people going through uh, or uses, using the M1 on a daily basis. Uh, in terms of freight, we are estimating that we did a study about 200 and, uh, sorry, 2009, 2010, and there were about more than 200,000 TEUs, which is the, what is called the twin uh, equivalent units, which is like your, your, your containers that get carried on the trucks. There's a more than 200,000 of them that get uh, transported into Johannesburg and out of Johannesburg to the Sadek region. So the, 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 the M1 in particular and the rest of the freeway system in the city plays a major role in terms of making sure that these goods and services are delivered or transported across this, the country and even to our neighboring countries in the Sadek region. So the M1 is really part of a very important network of, of roads. Um, we all know now it's very essential that we have to repair the road. But do you also make use of this opportunity now to better incorporate or interconnect public transport with the M1 in order to have a long-term solution for all the traffic congestion we are experiencing already? The work that we're currently doing on the M1 bridges as well as the roadway itself is really to preserve what we have, the existing infrastructure, and replenish the aging infrastructure that we have. With regard to accommodating uh, public transport uh, going forward, there's a, an assessment that we're currently undertaking, which we call the freeway improvement assessment. And the outcome of that pr uh, process will tell us capacity requirements that we need to put in place to, uh, and it is our intention to make sure that public transport and other road, uh, what you call other modes of transport, be it cycling, be it uh, pedestrians and so on, will be provided for in the upgrades that will follow uh, uh, subsequent to the conclusion of this assessment that I've just referred to. But in the meantime, we have to take the pain and have the, s the road be repaired. Unfortunately, yes. These are uh, repairs that are necessary for us to uh, keep the existing infrastructure in place and also extend the lifespan of that. So we're really pleading with the road users to be patient with us. Uh, I think when one looks at the long-term benefits of this rehabilitation, they outweigh the temporary inconveniences that people are experiencing now.